What's up guys, my name is Bravo, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC Battle Stadium video, bringing you a Regulation G Lugia team. Now Lugia is honestly a great Pokemon to use because of its massive bulk and its defense stats and having multi-scale making it a great tank. Not only that, I also see it has Terra Steel, so <laughs> that's fun. I do like the synergy of this team, however, because it has Tailwind support from Roaring Moon, and it has a utility Gyarados. This Gyarados has Thunder Wave, Taunt, Bodos. That's honestly something I was not expecting from a Gyarados in a team like this, but we take those. It even has Rocky Helmet as well. I do like that. I honestly do. Orthworm, I, I hope I'm saying his name right, but Orthworm isn't a Pokemon I don't use very often, so I am interested to see how well it can do for this team. By the way, shout out to Mr. Kurt for this amazing team. He is the same VGC player that gave me the Ho-Oh team from last video. If you guys missed that, be sure to check it out. That Pokemon team was extremely good. I loved how well Ho-Oh performed. That Pokemon is just amazing. But yeah, shout out to him once again for this amazing team. But if you guys want to see more VGC Battle Stadium video... Oh. <laughs> I'm over here talking a lot, but if you guys want to see a lot more VGC Battle Stadium videos, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, it is always appreciated, and be, oh my gosh, be sure to check out the whole video if you guys missed it, if you guys haven't seen it already, and with that being said, let's dive right into it. Alright, now this is actually quite the interesting team here. Not only it has a few fire types, I realized that Every Pokemon in this team, except for the Town Flame, is a Dark type. So, yikes! Looking at Lugia here, oh man, this is actually going to be a little difficult, especially that they have Chiyu in the team. So yeah, that's going to be a little difficult to deal with. I wonder who should I start off with? I might start off with Gyarados. It has Intimidate, right? Rocky Helmet. It does have Intimidate, so I feel like I can start off with Gyarados. I think that's a safe lead for now. And I can also lead off with Entei. Because I don't have a Chien Pound. I don't have a Chi of my own. I do have Fluttermean. So I think Fluttermean can also help out. Because, yeah, there is a lot of Dark types. And, yeah, Lugia is definitely going to come in. And, yeah, let's see how this goes. I also did realize that when I got in this rental code, I realized that the team name was Gale of Dark. That's supposed to be a reference to the GameCube game, Gale of Darkness. Honestly, that is one of the Pokemon games I haven't played. But if you guys want to see a walkthrough of me playing Pokemon Gale of Darkness, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. But yeah, looking at my opponent right now, they started off with Grimstar and Talonflame. Honestly, something I don't like right now. But... Yeah, I think it's a good lead nonetheless for me at least. Now, how can I start this off? Funny thing is too, I can actually taunt the Grimmsnarl because I don't have Prankster. I could do that. Talonflame definitely has Gale Wings on it right now. Like it's a like it's guaranteed. So I may I may actually go for the taunt on the Grimmsnarl. I'm gonna do that, and looking at Entei here, I can actually go for a Sacred Fire. So yeah, I, I'll double up on it. I knew Tail, yep, Tailwind, I knew it. And it has a Reflect, yikes. So yeah, that's not gonna do as much as I wanted it to. But I did get the burn! I actually got the burn, that's crazy. Alright. So I don't have to worry about anything else from that Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is burnt, so that's really good. Not only is burnt, but it got its attack load from Intimidate. So that's actually solid for me right now. So I don't have to worry about any powerful attacks from Grimmsnarl at the moment. However, I do want to get rid of that Talon Flame. So that's looking like a... <laughs> now? maybe so yo let's go for the extreme speed he's gonna go for the brave bird all right spirit break yeah that's not doing no damage i do want to get rid of this talent point power so hopefully i can get the kill yes i do i pick up the kill nice all right so talent flame is gone now 
I gotta figure out how to deal with that Grimstar. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what my opponent has in the back chilling right now. And because I did taunt the Grimstone, I should go after it as well, but they brung in the champ power, so that's a... That's one thing I really don't like right now. Hmm. I could Thunderweight the champ power, actually. I could do that. And my attack is low. No, my special attack. Okay. So, yeah, I could definitely go for a Sacred Fire on the champ power. He's gonna go for the ice cold crash that Ooh Damn that did a lot. Does that actually kill my no it doesn't? Please don't tell me I got the flinch. I really don't want that right now. Sacred fire, nice. Ooh! <laughs> Chim Pao! That Chim Pao almost died. And I do get the Thunder Wave! Amazing. Amazing. That's actually that is actually amazing right now. This is actually at a good... I am definitely at a good spot here. So now... I can go for Waterfall. Just to do some damage on that Grimmsnarl. And Extreme Speed on the Chan Pal. So yeah. Extreme Speed, that's gonna take up the kill. Nice, nice. Next up... Grimmsnarl needs to, like, go now. Because it's doing a lot of stuff. And Gyarados is extremely <laughs> taking those hits really well. Alright, so I do I should pick up the kill for the waterfall, right? Yep. Nice. Nice. Alright. And their tailwind is gone. Now what's their now what's my opponent's last Pokemon? The Tanglu. Alright, that's a easy kill right there. That is actually an easy kill. We can just pick that up. Waterfall, and yeah, just go for the Sacred Fire. Oh, my opponent's gonna Terrestrialize. Ooh, what is it? I just realized who my opponent did not Terrestrialize this entire time until now. Terra Ground. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but okay. We take those. And it's taking that really... It got burnt! <laughs> Oh my gosh, it got burnt again. That is crazy. What? Unfortunately. Yeah, that's gonna pick up the kill. I don't know what that sound was, but... Unfortunately, that is gonna pick up the kill on my Gyarados. What I want to do now is I actually want to bring in Lugia for this. I want Lugia to come in. Alright, now I can actually go... How much... Never mind. Okay. Boost has a heightened chance of landing a crit. Oh, that's honestly amazing. Yeah, we can actually go for it. I'm gonna go for the Arrow Blast and just hit. go for probably hmm, Sacred Fire. Why not? This Pokemon is tanky. So yeah, that's done. Oh my gosh, it's still living. Fisher. Oh my gosh. All right, that is pretty much. Whoa, wow! <laughs> my op oh man, what a first game! My opponent did get the rage quit. <laughs> oh, wow! All right, well, GG to my opponent. Okay, now this, I can see right here. This is probably a rain team right here because I do see Pelipper and the Kingdra. They do have an alone executor with them as well. I'm a little, it's a little questionable here, because there's a slight chance one of these Pokemon does have Trick Room for that Executor, or I'm probably just imagining stuff, but I should be able to, like, charge through against the range strategy, so I might want to bring in a different type of lead. I can start off with Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane could do really well just to dish out damage, because there's a lot of Pokemon that's weak to this thing. I can also bring out... Can I bring out Lugia? 
It's looking like a maybe. I think I can start off with Lugia. Yeah, I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start off with Lugia. Or maybe. What if I start off with Gyarados instead? Then I'll have Lugia. I think I'll do that instead. I can start off with Gyarados just in case. Actually. Yeah, never mind. I will bring in Gyarados, however, because I do want Gyarados to actually do something this match. And they do have an Indeedee. A slight chance I think could have Psychic Surge. So yeah, that's honestly going to shut me down. And I'll just bring in Vorian Moon. Let's see how this goes. Hey, Shiny Noivern, sweet. But yeah, it's a little it's a little weird because they have Gallade on the team. Alright, so yeah. Alolan Executor with the Kingdra. Honestly, not what I was expecting. Really not what I was expecting. I could go for a dazzling gleam here. Cause yeah, I, I'm just gonna straight up just tank. And maybe I could Terrestrialize while I'm at it. I could go for Terra Steel and just go for Calm Mind. Just to get just to get set up here. Cause Kingdra over here, I know it has Ice Beam. So I'm not gonna take that chance. And I'll just go for the Terra Steel on Lugia. So I should be able to take a lot more. My opponent is going to turn slides themselves. And that's the Kingdra. So what is it? Is it Terra Steel as well? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is actually... Okay. This actually might be problematic. Alright. I do set up on that Calm Mind. Focus energy? Oh, I gotta get rid of this thing. I actually have to get rid of this thing. And it goes for the Trick Room! Oh my gosh. I need... To, I'm gonna have to find out a way to stall this now. How I'm gonna do it is honest... You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, if it has... If it was Terra Steel... It might... It might have Flash Cannon. It might have Flash Cannon just take me out. So, yeah, this is actually... Man, I'm actually at a bad spot here. I'm going to try my best to stall that Trick Room as much as I can. This, however, is a little tricky. Because I don't know what else to do exactly. I didn't take no damage, so I think I am safe to go for another Calm Mind. I'm going to switch out because I know a Flash Cannon might be coming my way. The least I can do is Intimidate just in case that Executor does have a physical move. He's going to go for the Helping Hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are you doing? Sir? Okay, I didn't, I didn't take that much damage, so I'm actually fine here. That is a little concerning because focus energy was in effect. So I gotta figure out a way to get rid of this. Like it's honestly, it's honestly a little tricky. I'm gonna be honest. If executor is just there, I need to deal with Kingdra actually. So, yeah, I guess I'll go for it. I want to go for the Arrow Blast just to get my crit and not only that, do a lot more damage. So, I'm kind of I'm kind of reaching right here. How much are we doing with this Waterfall? That didn't do anything. But I get the flinch! I got the flinch! Does this kill? No, it didn't kill! <laughs> it didn't pick up the kill, but I got into flinch though. 
I was able to get the flinch. Yo, that is actually insane. Yo, that just actually just changed it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my opponent just he just laughed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, that <laughs> that has to be the craziest thing that just happened so far. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. That match is just crazy. So, uh, let's look at my opponent's team here. Uh, let's see. They have an Ursaluna. They have a Gorilla Boom, Cresselia, and Cinder. I do see a lot of Trick. And they have the Ice Rider, Calyrex. So, yeah, there's a lot of... Tr I can see a lot of Trick Room going on in this team. And the possible Trick Room setters is completely obvious. It's crazy to me right now. Gengar, I think... does. I don't know if Gengar has Trick Room or not but I still got to keep a close eye on it regardless. Cresselia is definitely going to be setting it up. Oh my god. That is just wild. <laughs> That's insane. Alright. Okay. That is just funny. I think I could start off with Farming and the Gyarados. Yeah, I, I feel like that's a solid lead. I like, or... If anything, I do have inner focus on this Entei. So maybe I can start off with Entei and the Gyarados and have Fluttermane in the, in the Lugia. And we should be good. This should actually be a solid lead here. Because it pretty much cancels out most of the strategies my opponent wants to do with that team. So if I can get it done correctly, that's actually, that's actually really good. So let's see what my opponent does. Alright, so my opponent is going to have the Cresselia and the Ursaluna. Interesting. What I want to do here is kind of obvious, but I'm going to do it nonetheless. Because I know that, Urs that Ursaluna is a powerhouse. So I got to do as much as I can to at least lower its attack power. So I am going to taunt the Cresselia here, and I am just going to go for the Snarl. On both of them I can at least do some damage and I can lower their special attack so that is actually really solid for me right now I'm gonna go for the taunt nice that's actually really good oh no it has the it had oh I had the mental hurt that's not good and throw spray is activated that is totally not good uh, and the trick, yep, the trick room comes out. I might, yeah, I'm gonna terrestrialize one of these Pokemon. That Ursula is definitely, is definitely gonna terrestrialize and kill me. <sighs> Alright. Should I Terra Grass here? I should. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna terrestrialize my Entei. I might as well just go for it. I need to try my absolute best to lower Ursula's attack power. I just want to get rid of that thing. Like, I'm not even worried about the Cresselia. I just want that Ursula to be gone. He's gonna go for that helping hand. That's not good. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Wait, what? What? Wait, wh wait, 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 hold up, hold up. What? <laughs> My opponent did helping hand on the Ursaluna just for it to do protect? What? Am I missing something here? What am Why? <laughs> I could also go... I just realized I can also go for extreme speed as well, but I just want to go for snarl one more time. I want his special attack to be lowered, then I can just go for extreme speed. If the if the empty does potentially live these attacks, but that honestly just threw me off. Why would you? Why? Okay, let's go for healthy hand again. Is it gonna go for protect or is it actually gonna do something? Blood moon. Okay, how much is this doing? This actually might. <gasps> no, the crow. <laughs> 
it. The crit takes me out. Aw, oh, damn. That's honestly unfortunate. Aw, oh, the crits. Why? Yeah, I can't bring in Fluttermane now. Alright, Lugia. Let's see. What, I, I need you to actually do something. I gotta go for Taunt, actually. On... <laughs> I need to go for Taunt on that Pokemon. Oh my god. Wait, how much turns is left on the Trick Room? Two more turns? Hmm. Can I stall it? I do want to do that. I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for Recover for a read. Because I, I think that Ursula is gonna attack Lugia. So if I was correct on that... Yep, hyper voice. All right, that's that's good. That's that's exactly what I that's exactly what I needed. So let me go back to that. Let me go back to full HP real quick, and I'm gonna go for calm mind. Cause the next turn, I'm definitely gonna be outspeeding every Pokemon in this field. So yeah, I'm gonna go for calm mind now. If my Gyarados somehow dies. It should be okay because Fluttermane is just gonna start spamming a lot of attacks. But I just want to set up my Lugia as much as possible. But that is just that honestly threw me off. I was not expecting a Cresselia. Okay, the Cresselia does switch, and the Calyrex is coming in. Uh oh, uh oh. I actually. I... What makes it worse? Is that I'm actually going to die from that Pokemon? <laughs> okay, I, I that's that's unfortunate, but I do set up a call of mine freely. I'm able to do that at least. All right, now that's good. No more Trick Room, so I should. So Fluttermane is definitely free to just go in. Just go in and do as much damage as possible. I'm a little I'm a little worried. I don't know how much this dazzling gleam is going to do. And Ursula could definitely kill. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for the dazzling gleam. I did get a free calm my turn. Aeroblast should be able to do a good amount. My opponent is gonna terrestrialize. Probably the Calyrex. Yep, it's the Calyrex. Uh, which one? Terra Water? Okay, that's fine. That's good. I'm fine with that. I honestly thought it was gonna terrestrialize into something Lugia was weak to. But I'm I'm okay with it. Alright, now come on. Do not do not miss this. You need yes, nice. A... No, I don't pick up the kill. Ah, oh, that's gonna do a lot of damage. <gasps> My Flutter Flutter Main lived! Fluttermane lived. Nice. Fluttermane lived it. <clears throat> Alright, so Ursula is gone. I am stuck in this. <laughs> I am stuck with Dazzling Gleam, so uh, yeah, let's go for that. He's gonna go for the tag. Ah, shit. I was too greedy. I was too greedy. No. I was too greedy. That's that's on me. I should have went for Aeroblast. Yeah, I should have went for Cresselia. I, I was too greedy. That's honestly... Yep, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna... That Calyx is definitely gonna kill me now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's pretty much GG right there. Oh my gosh. How did I live? <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it going to attack me? Lunar Blessing. What does that actually... Does that heal? No, it just heals all of them, doesn't it? Yeah, that's pretty much GG. Oh 
my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, that I was wait I was too greedy. I should have actually just targeted the Cresselia. I probably would have killed it too. Oh man. That's unfortunate. Oh, GG's to my opponent. That was actually that was actually a crazy lead too. I just has I just have some good matches, so GG's to all my opponents there. And yeah, once again, shout out to Mr. Kurt for his team. And if you guys have teams for yourselves that you guys want me to try out, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to check them as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It is always appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.